No PSV operating at the moment, but I want us to go uh, to State House where Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi is currently there with President William Ruto. Let's just cross over and see what's happening. Okay, and the MOU will now be signed by the Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, on behalf of the Government of Kenya, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs on behalf of the Islamic Republic of Iran. در این بخش به اولین تفاهم نامه به از جانب وزارت امور خارجه جمهوری کنیا و وزارت امور خارجه جمهوری اسلامی ایران به امضا خواهد رسید. Thank you, thank you very much. The second memorandum of understanding between the Ministry of Information and Communication and Digital Economy of the Republic of Kenya and the Ministry of Information and Communication Technology of the Islamic Republic of Iran on cooperation in the field of information and communication technology. دومین تفاهم‌نامه همکاری میان وزارت اطلاعات، ارتباطات و اقتصاد دیجیتال جمهوری کنیا و وزارت اطلاعات و فناوری ارتباطات جمهوری اسلامی ایران در خصوص همکاری در زمینه اطلاعات و فناوری ارتباطات. The aim of the MOU is to establish a framework for consultation and cooperation on the basis of equality of mutual benefit to facilitate, strengthen, expand, develop and diversify information and communication technology between the two countries. هدف از این تفاهم‌نامه ایجاد چارچوبی جهت رایزنی و همکاری بر اساس منافع مشترک و برابر طرفین جهت تسهیل، تقویت، افزایش، توسعه و متنوع‌سازی همکاری‌های اطلاعاتی و فناوری اطلاعات میان دو طرف می‌باشد. Thank you very much. The MOUs of course have been signed by the respective foreign ministers of both countries and witnessed by their excellencies. بسیار سپاسگزارم و این تفاهم نامه هم توسط وزرای امور خارجه دو کشور و با نظارت رؤسای جمهوری دو کشور به امضا خواهد رسید. The next memorandum of understanding is between the Ministry of Tourism, Wildlife and Heritage of the Republic of Kenya and the Ministry of Culture and Islamic Guidance of the Islamic Republic of Iran on cooperation in the field of culture and heritage. سومین تفاهم نامه همکاری میان وزارت گردشگری، حیات وحش و میراث جمهوری کنیا و وزارت فرهنگ و ارشاد اسلامی جمهوری اسلامی ایران در زمینه همکاری فرهنگی و میراث خواهد بود. The objective of the MOU is to establish a framework through which the parties may collaborate on the basis of equality and mutual benefit to facilitate and strengthen cooperation in the field of culture including cooperation in conservation and preservation of cultural and historical heritage. هدف از این تفاهم نامه ایجاد چارچوبی می باشد که از طریق آن طرفین بتوانم بر مبنای بر منافع مشترک و برابر تسهیل کنم و تقویت بخشند همکاری ها در زمینه فرهنگی از جمله همکاری در زمینه حفظ و ترمیم میراث فرهنگی و میراث تاریخی the MOU is now being signed by the minister or cabinet secretary uh, ministry of tourism wildlife and heritage on behalf of the republic of kenya and Minister of Foreign Affairs on behalf of the Islamic Republic of Iran. In Tafam Name, the Mzoy Vazir Gardishkari, Hayot Vashma Mirose, Jumhuri Kenya, Vazir Umur Haraj, Jumhuri Islam Iran, was it? Thank you very much. The fourth MOU is between the Ministry of Mining, Blue Economy and Maritime Affairs of the Republic of Kenya and the Ministry of Agriculture, Jihad of the Islamic Republic of Iran on cooperation in the fisheries sector. چهارمین تفاهم‌نامه همکاری میان وزارت معدن، اقتصاد آبی و امور دریایی جمهوری کنیا و وزارت جهاد کشاورزی جمهوری اسلامی ایران در زمینه همکاری در بخش شیلات باشد. The objective of the MOU is to set principles and means of implementation on the areas of cooperation between the Islamic Republic of Iran and Kenya in the field of fisheries and aquaculture to enhance the productivity of the blue economy 
and more specifically catalyze the local fishing industry. هدف از این امضای این تفاهمنامه ایجاد اصول و ابزارهای جهت اجرای در حوزه های همکاری میان جمهوری اسلامی ایران و جمهوری کنیا در زمینه شیلات و آبزی پروری با هدف تقویت تولید اقتصاد آبی و ایجاد و کاتالیز کردن صنعت ماهیگیری داخلی و بومی می باشد. And that MOU of course has been signed by the Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Mining, Blue Economy and Maritime Affairs. این تفاهم نامه نیز به امضای وزیر معدن اقتصاد آبی و امور دریایی جمهوری کنیا و وزیر امور خارجه جمهوری اسلامی ایران می رسد of the Islamic Republic of Iran on technical and vocational education training Tibets. پنجمین تفاهم‌نامه همکاری میان وزارت آموزش جمهوری کنیا و وزارت تعاون کار و رفاه اجتماعی جمهوری اسلامی ایران در زمینه آموزش‌های فنی و حرفه‌ای. The objective of the MOU is to establish a framework for closer cooperation for mutual benefit in the fields of exchanging educational experiences, training of trainers, educational consultancy, vocational education and training and equipping Tibet centers. هدف از امضای این تفاهمنامه ایجاد چارچوبی برای ایجاد همکاری های نزدیکتر به نفع دو کشور در زمینه های تبادل تجارب آموزشی، تربیت مربی، رایزنی های آموزشی، رایزنی های فنی و حرفه‌ای و همچنین تجهیز مراکز تی وی تی می باشد. And the Minister of Cooperatives, Labour and Social Welfare on behalf of the Islamic Republic of Iran. In tafaam nama be mzay vazir amuzesh jomhuri Ghana va vazir taabon kar va refah istamay jomhuri Islami Iran mi bash. Thank you very much for more detailed uh, information on the outcome of the bilateral talks. We now invite their excellencies to address the media. Thank you. As Rasay Muhtaram, do you want to invite me to come to the Prime Minister's office? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your Excellency, Dr. Ibrahim Raisi, President of Iran, Honorable Members of your delegation, Distinguished Guests, Ministers present, good morning. I take this opportunity once again to express on behalf of the people, the government of the Republic of Kenya, our gratitude to His Excellency, President Ibrahim Raisi, and his delegation for honoring us with a visit, his first ever to Africa and the first stop on his tour to our continent. It is a special privilege to host President Raisi in Nairobi and his presence is testimony to the strong ties between Kenya and Iran. It is also a demonstration of our shared commitment to cooperate for the benefit of the people of our two countries. I am delighted to report that President Raisi and I have just concluded highly productive bilateral discussions on a broad range of very important issues. During our meeting, I affirmed to His Excellency President Raisi the important place of Iran as a critical strategic partner for Kenya and the value that we place on the friendly and fraternal relations between our two countries. On our historical engagement and areas of cooperation and development that include education, scholarship, infrastructure, health, water, fisheries, agriculture and housing, urban and metropolitan development, among other areas, I expressed our gratitude and commitment to expand and deepen these relations. President Raisi and I had the opportunity to engage views and share ideas about 
emerging opportunities to improve the balance of trade between our two countries. Kenya and Iran are strategically situated to be each other's key points of entry into our respective regions. And we have affirmed our joint commitment to capitalize on this unique advantage. I express to His Excellency the President our appreciation of our bilateral cooperation in the promotion of trade, particularly in the export of Kenyan products to Iran. More specifically, I sought the President's commitment in facilitating the export of more tea, meat, and other agricultural products to Iran and through Iran to the Central Asian countries. We have 12 countries in the Central Asian region with a population of almost 300 uh, people, and Kenya believes that's a strategic market for our agricultural exports. Stronger collaboration with Iran is important for us in delivering agricultural value chain of our bottom-up economic transformation agenda. It is also encouraging to note that trade volumes between our two countries have been on a steady upward trajectory. Kenya exported tea worth 28.4 million US dollars, about uh, 4 billion shillings, to Tehran in the first quarter of this year, which is an eight-fold increase from sales for the same period last year. We have increased eight times our export of tea in the, in the first quarter of this year to Iran. Kenya attaches great significance to the Iranian market since it is one of the most valued export destinations for our tea. Kenya is also highly encouraged by the great interest shown by Iran in promoting technological and entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial innovation among Kenyan youth by promoting incubation of Kenya startups and creative industry through the Iran House Innovation and Technology Center. This is an outstanding intervention that is innovative and directly aligned with our national aspiration towards creating a digital superhighway and a robust digital economy as primary pillars of the bottom-up economic transformation agenda. As a global innovation powerhouse, <clears throat> Iran has made significant progress in the development and deployment of modern technologies in key industries such as agriculture, manufacturing, and telecommunication. I have therefore invited wider and deeper collaboration in these and other critical sectors in the interest of our shared socio-economic development objectives. Similarly, His Excellency the President and I noted that Iran is already an important partner in Kenya's health services, <coughs> uh, services sector and maintains two health centers in Nairobi to actualize the universal health objective of our administration, which is a critical pillar of our agenda. We continue to invite and learn from the expertise of countries like Iran, which has achieved a great degree of advancement in medicine and modern medical technology. I have also expressed our commitment to His Excellency that in this year's budget, we have eliminated taxes on the manufacture of medical equipment and pharmaceutical products, and Iran should take advantage of that opportunity and set up industry in Kenya. The blue economy is one critical area where we can demonstrate the merits of our plan to align the undeniable opportunities in the blue economy. We must invest capital and technology where it creates more jobs at the bottom of the economic pyramid. In the spirit to further enhance our bilateral relations, Iran has agreed to boost our exports and exploits and pursuits in the blue economy through research and technology. Iran is a maritime nation with strong fishing industry. On its part, Kenya has established a dedicated ministry to exclusively deal 
with a blue economy. I am very happy that this morning we have signed an MOU that will give us the necessary frame for us to tap into our blue economy resources that are underdeveloped in Kenya and benefit from the experience of the, our Iranian counterparts because we have taken the decision that we will do more in the fishing area by exploiting our own resources rather than importing those resources from elsewhere. At the same time, I affirmed the government's steadfast commitment to fostering and protecting all investments in the country, both domestic and foreign, through the fair, consistent and effective application of the rule of law. I have therefore reiterated to President Raisi that Kenya remains open and committed to receiving and hosting Iranian investors and business people and providing them with a conducive business atmosphere across the country. His Excellency President Raisi conveyed to me information that will be good news for stakeholders in our mechanical and automotive